take you through this as well as showing you some part in 62. Um, Dollywood and Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. For the 2020 season, Dollywood has had one operation day, and that was when they reopened a little over two months ago. Um, they opened for season pass preview day, and they've not opened since. So, in this video, here are my projection on what they're going to do when they reopen. Now, first of all, I would like to announce this. Nothing has been said by the park what these are going to do. These are what I think. Um, everybody is going to have different opinions. Now, let's get started. First thing. With rides, I honestly think they're either going to do like one person per row on roller coasters, um, depending on things, or switch them out where the next set of people will do the other row to give employees time to wipe down that current row and then vice versa. Um, that's just an assumption right now. Um, Next thing for shows, I honestly think Dollywood is going to limit the amount of shows they have or mostly maybe do the ones just outside um, in their um, concert or venues instead of the indoor ones. Um, how exactly that would work, especially for something like um, Christmas, I don't know at this point, but only time will tell. As for food, this this one's going to be a tough one to do because one thing Dollywood is known for is their food. So honestly, some of the things I can see Dollywood doing for their food stands are the following. One, put up plexiglass at all Dippin' Dots carts, um, um, small stands where you can get something to go like popcorn, the Philly cheesesteak, so forth. Um, limit the amount of people that go in the sit-down restaurants like Aunt Granny's, Red's Diner, um, the Front Porch Cafe, and um, Miss Lillian's Chicken House. So I can honestly see those getting limited. The next thing I can see is for is um, a place like Dogs and Taters honestly limiting people to the window. So, for example, having a, a, a Dollywood employee out front saying, okay, only so many people can be in this line at once. Um... The other thing I can see Dollywood doing too is maybe not d encouraging souvenir cups and just do either foam cups or something like that because the problem with those types of cups are you don't know where those cups have been and what they have touched. So and you don't know if they've been in an area that may have had the what's going on. So, I can honestly see them doing that or coming up with something that could wash that off. Um, and then lastly, I can honestly see Dollywood limiting the amount of people that go in the park every day. Or reserve how many people can go in. So if they know, for example, Dollywood can hold 40,000 people, they could do, okay, we'll only do 20,000 or something like that. Now, out of all that I just said, what is possible and what's not? First, I, I do see the plexiglass, um, method just because you know they can't control and it doesn't make sense for them to especially like the cards for example to close 
the ones that do have those doors and then reopen and so forth. You just wear, wear that out, especially if the park's open, you know, nine, ten hours a day. So, the next thing I can see is um, the limiting the amount of people in the restaurants or having more to-go items than anything. The souvenir cup idea, I do see them potentially not doing that just because... They don't know where those cups have been. And I can honestly see them honestly doing the one person per car rule. Now, please note this. Everything I said in this almost six minute video is my prediction. Nothing has come from Dollywood on what they're doing yet. So be patient and let them say what they are doing.